y'all welcome back to my channel it's big motherfucking kt ah, it's big motherfucking kt here and if you new, hey welcome to my channel my name is collage and if you are not welcome back i am doing a get to know me video you know i'm gonna give y'all answer y'all some questions you know, just to see what y'all got, you know, what y'all got for me. Like, make sure you subscribe to my channel, a friend, everything, do this. But, um, let's get into the video. Make sure y'all follow me on all my social media accounts. So, be right here and right there. So, let's get into the video. I installed this wig so far, and it look like, like, you know, it look like fun. No, I didn't, but it looked like something, okay? I have a piece of paper because I can't just use my phone because I'm recording on my phone, but, you know, camera coming soon. First question is, what's something that makes you happy? <sighs> something that makes me happy is food. Like, like if you know me, like, you know that, like, like I am fat. Like, I'm a fat person, and I don't gain no weight whatsoever, but I love eating. I love to eat. Like buying me food is the most wonderful thing you could do. Like without me asking, because I hate asking, but without me asking and you buying me food, I love you forever. Type shit, you know. Explain your recent messages. Now, my recent messages was between what? I think it was Bri. It's always Bri texting me. We be talking about folks a lot. Yeah. Um, I ain't gonna explain it, but just know I was texting Brian and we were talking about both. That's all you need to know. Next question Do you miss your last relationship? Now, I'm trying to figure out who my last relationship was, because, uh, y'all, this is doing my hair. I was, like, like I said, I was doing my hair last night. So, yeah. Um, do I miss my last relationship? Mm. Nah. I miss I miss the vibe in the person. Like, I miss I miss the vibe just a little bit. Just a little bit. Do you want kids? Yes, I want kids. I actually want one right now. But like. I can't do that because niggas ain't shit. And niggas will, will do you will do you dirty. Like niggas really ain't shit and they will do you dirty. Like they will they will they will backstab you in the back over you. Are you a virgin? No, I'm not. I'm not a virgin. Sorry. Ben did that. I'm grown now. I do what the fuck I want to do. What color are your eyes? Right here, it looks like my eyes are black. But when I more closer, they are brown. So my eyes are brown. 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. Now, me, I am I am a person that stays up. Like I will stay up till three o'clock until I be ready for sleep. Like unless somebody is on the phone with me and I'll go sleep. But like if you're not phone me, I'm staying up. Okay, I'm staying up big time. What are things you don't like about yourself? I don't like the fact that I am skinny. I'm skinny as hell and I don't gain no weight whatsoever. And I have, I have no, well, I, I ain't gonna tell I ain't got no ass, but I got a little bit in the gym, so stop playing. What are things that I like about myself? I like my face, like my face is the most gorgeous thing it's the most gorgeous thing ever. Like, like you can't go, you can't go wrong. I, I hate my smile. I hate my smile. That's the next question. I hate my smile. I smile cute, but like, it's something like don't. If that makes sense. Yeah. Do you give second chances? Hell, well. These last couple of days, I've been given lots and lots and lots and lots of fucking second chances in this motherfucker. I am the nigga in a relationship, and I'm gonna give you a second chance, but if you fuck up, 
step, second chance. Use. Go ahead and turn in your two week notice because I don't need your phone no more. I probably won't even give a fuck day two weeks. To be honest with you. I just don't give a fuck. What is your childhood dream? Man, my own um, Cinderella fantasy. Yeah. Go ahead and turn in my little my little uh glass slip or whatever. Glass slip or whatever. But um uh, I don't know. Cinderella is my dream, childhood dream. Question, do you plan on getting married? I don't know. It's but if somebody marry me, it's like damn you really fuck with me. Like you really can handle them five hundred personalities, like you did that, like you really, you really dead nigga for real. Like I'm gonna have to bless you. Like you really dead nigga, and now I'm gonna stop giving you trouble, cause you passed my course. No more talking about me. But Lord, it's gonna be a good time to life. It ain't shit. That's all I gotta say. Um, what is love to you? Um, love is a beautiful thing to have, and I think love is very rare. What is love to me? Love is a person that loves to spend time with you, that loves to be around you, can go fucking three minutes without talking to you, three seconds, matter of fact. They can't go a fucking day without talking to you or being with you or with you being in their presence. So it's like, you love me for real. Like, you wanna be around me? Like, I don't get on your nerves. Are you scared to commit? I ain't even scared of shit. I ain't scared of a damn thing. What I am scared of is a nigga that got me fucked up. That's what I'm scared of. Because at this point, if you got me fucked up, you might as well call 911. Not for you, but for me. Because I'm going to beat your ass and I'm going to really get in your shit. I don't even, I don't even play about my feelings like that. Like, it's just something I just, I can't do that. I can't do that at all. And that pisses me off. Are you single? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let my let, let my boyfriend answer that motherfucking question in the motherfucking comments. Am I single? Am I fucking single? Cause I swear to God, I ain't got asked for Valentine's Day or none of that shit. What is your ideal of a boyfriend? Dark skin, nice teeth, hygiene is on point. Ooh. Did I say dark skin already? Dark skin, wait. I don't I don't do waves. Fades, dread. Oh, the stud earrings. Oh my god. What else? Ooh, your grip. You gotta dress nice. Cause if I dress nice, what the fuck are you gonna have? Uh, what's your fear? Um, my fear, frogs. I hate frogs. I I hate them bitches. Like them bitches could literally go into the distance and I'll be, and I'll be found there. Like I do not give up by no frog whatsoever. Like I hate like I hate this shit. What is your current favorite song? Ready for this? I'm telling for some crazy. Tell them how you got me fucked up. Your mama got no daughters, boy. You ain't them bitchy brother. Then you told me that you knew the bitch for jeans. Say you fucked her old cheat neck. Cut that motherfucker. With my man today. Hmm. Back outside tomorrow. I'll be done with him today. Then me yet yeah, inside tomorrow. I'll be busting out the windows. Got him switching up his cars. He won't find shit in my phone, but the little pictures of his car. Constant bringing up my ex and shit. He must want me to go back. I could really pop my shit for real, but I don't think he know that. Cut that nigga off good to show him that I'm on it. And he'll never, ever, 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 ever get his hoe back. Period. Fuck my hoe. Fuck that bitch. I don't give a fuck by none of that shit. That's my favorite song. But next question though. Uh what is the worst thing you ever did? 
What is the worst thing I ever did? Hmm. What is the worst thing I ever did though? Oh. That's the worst thing. Okay. So it was me and my and my boyfriend. And he has a baby mother. And they was uh, on the block or whatever. And that motherfucker was playing with me, acting like I just wasn't gonna, acting like I just wasn't gonna pop my shit for real. But he didn't know that until I actually did this shit. So, uh, I, I I I had got off of work or whatever. All right, a nigga follow me to my job. All right, and follow me back home. Like literally, like like literally walk with me back home. And like I told him, I was like, I got a nigga, and he on the block, and he crazy. He was like, I don't care. I'm going with you. I said, okay. You ain't gonna hold my hand. You gonna hold my hand. It's, like, it's over with. You're fucked up. You're gonna die at this point. Because at this point, you fucked up. But yeah. That nigga sing that nigga right beside me. Play with your mama, bitch. Play with your mama. Not me. Wrong bitch. Wrong year to be playing with me. What would be the perfect crime? Um, hell. So you follow them to the abandoned building or place or whatever, and you just fuck them. You just shoot them in the head. Easy. Then nobody sees it. You do it. You good. Dump that body. You get ready to rip them. Hell, you in that bitch. But if you will be smart, you will be smart and wear a glove before you shoot that person. You know. Um, who had the biggest impact on the person you became today? The biggest impact on me that I, that I had become today is my uncle. I'm going to show y'all the picture. His name is Anthony Hampton. Long live him. Period. This is him. This is the picture frame that I've been recently burned. But this is him. Space. His name is right here, but it just won't show. But he is the main reason I'm literally still going to girl. Like, it's been so many times that I literally had a breakdown and he was right there. Now, I'm going to graduate and I made it. I made it. Um, last thing that made you cry. Um, I want to say a name, but I can't say a name. But, but uh, I'm I'm just gonna say sincere, and he gonna know who the fuck I'm talking about. Why did your last relationship end? Cut him up, like, what you know me? Literally, 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 like, literally, like, she literally came in the room where we were cooling it, and she literally just blown out, just really said everything right then and there, and you know me, clueless bitch, like, I'm thinking this lawyer is me. Mind y'all, I, I got my get back. I just know I got my get back. It might be a short time for that video, but I, I got my get back. But yeah, he was just acting like he just one shit, like he just didn't do shit wrong. Okay, I'm a I'm a not do shit wrong. That's what I'm do. Not do shit wrong. So describe your first date. Hell, I ain't even got no damn date. I ain't I ain't even no nigga. He's taking me out on no motherfucking date. But my ideal of a date would be like, I get a text that say, hey, hey, good morning. Um, Pick a place you would like to go eat at. Pick a time. Uh, and the text that just say what to wear, you know, how to dress. And, you know, it's like an imitation text. I might put it up on the screen for like a little example but that's that's my idea of first date like at a restaurant it ain't even we ain't we, we, we ain't even gotta go 
to the restaurant, we could literally be in the car and have a, have a little TV or something or something. Smoke, eat, you know, do some math awards, you know. What teacher inspired you the most and why? Miss Warner. Miss Warner is the most, the most craziest, prettiest, inspiring teacher it is to have. Cause like she is, is the first person that taught me math for real. Like math was the most hardest subject I barely passed. So I passed math with the 78 at that and at thinking I made a fucking 90 or something. Yeah, I passed that motherfucker. But this year, I passed that motherfucker with 80. That because of Leslie Furness. So two teachers is, is really the GOAT. Like, the GOAT GOAT. The GOAT. What's your fave position? Dog style. I was gonna say missionary, but like that's everybody's favorite position. And like, I like to like throw it back. Just a little bit. I like to throw it back. But like, that's my favorite position. Now, missionary, that's the that shit that's gonna get you pregnant. And I put this on the car. I ain't, I'm with it, but I ain't with it just yet. Period. But yeah. This was the end of my video. If you liked it, my video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and comment below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.